we've just been talking and we've realised that we always go on about free parking so we always try and find free parking now the reason why we look for the free parking is one obviously it's free two it's mainly right within the vicinity of the town or the village that we want to go and look at because obviously we've no scooters up here we've not fetched a bike this time either so we don't want to be parking 15 miles outside of the town where we're actually wanting to go and look at so what we're going to do in future because i know a lot of people don't like free parking or parking in areas like car parks or offside like cul-de-sacs or streets so we're going to mention to you as well if there is actually a campsite in that area of the place that we're looking at now we're just going to have a quick look on dumfries and unfortunately there's not all we can see is this park up we've got here which is free and two more day parking so if you wanted to come to Dumfries you'd have to do something like this or oh, there is a park uh, there is a campsite oh I say about 15 mile outside so if you want to walk that if you're fit enough to do that you can um, but that's what we'll do we'll have a look and see if there's a campsite around the area where we're at and we'll tell you about the free parking as well if that's going to help if it's of interest to you and another thing i've had a message this morning asking where we found all our park ups i do say to you quite a lot but we found all our park ups on search for sites park for nights and camper contact so failing that and we can't find anything i will go on google i will find the place that we want to go and visit zoom in search for parking and look for the big parking areas in that place now if it's a big big car park then i will click on the parking and it normally tells you someone some cam person has normally took a picture of the pain display details it'll tell tell you whether you can stay overnight it'll tell you what vehicles are allowed and how much they charge so that's how we find our park ups this like i say this one we found dock park is right next to the river that we've been showing you and there's a part there is actually a cafe down there and a nice dog walk and it's on a cycle route as well so if you have got a bike you come here you can go for miles but for now i'm going to finish my cup of tea these are the mugs that we're doing by the way brilliant get your mugs finish my brew my yorkshire tea and then we'll take you a bit further Aww. right mr Winge, are you ready for your walk yeah <laughs> are you ready chico he's ready he's got his jumper on his coat and his harness yeah. ready for the winter isn't he? what you're not telling everyone he's got his he's got his halloween jumper on but the halloween jumper came too late in the post so you can't see it anyway chico's not bothered are your cheeks let's go oh look at this just across from the cemetery there's a big massive statue and would have said who's that and it's jean armor and it's the wife of Robert Burns. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It says it's there. Uh, no, but the name's not Burns, is it? So what's that about? Well, it's that must be a maiden name. name. Yeah. And we're worried about not finding um, the house. <laughs> you can't miss it. There's a house down here and it's got a big massive painting on the side of it saying Burns House. And we have a big massive ar arrow. History here, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is called Burn Street, to tell you the truth. Is it? Yeah. This is where his house was. Obviously, not one of these flats. They're a bit modern, aren't they? It must be down here. Is it that grey house there? Is it opposite? Burn Street. Burn Street. Who the thought when we came here we didn't know none of this existed? No. We just picked this out of thin air, didn't we? Because it was far enough to drive wasn't it yeah so. see you never know when you come to these places what this is what i love about traveling you find things out i mean robert burns is massive everyone knows burns now everybody oh it must be this one at end here mark right, oh definitely you can tell the difference can't you i can't walk on these you better get off these mark i'm, I'm going crazy i'm going all over the place oh it's windy today i'm sorry if you can hear that on the microphone yeah it's here Liz. look at that Robert Burns' house. Robert Burns and his family moved to this house in 1793 from the Wee Venel, now Bank Street. Here he continued to write his songs and here he died on the 21st of July, 1796. Mm. Wow. Doors open. Oh, you can go in. We won't go in because we've got the dog. Not only have we found Robert Burns' house, we've actually found where he is laid to rest 
and it's in St. Michael's and South Church behind us. It's well advertised, isn't it? Yeah. Look, Burns Mausoleum. And the sign for Burns Mausoleum. There. Yeah. Now apparently, from what I've seen, there's a lot of the Burns family buried in here in the same tomb. But I don't know whether Robert Burns was um, taken out and buried somewhere else. Couldn't quite get what Google was telling me. Well, let's see if we can spot it. Look at this. There's some important people in here. Look at the size of the tombs. Wow. I don't think I've seen a graveyard like this before, Mark. Oh. Contemporaries. What, does that someone that's worked for Robert Burns? I don't know, maybe. Mrs. McCulloch. Look. McCulloch. 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 Let's see if we can find. It must be the biggest one that's in here. Is this it by any chance? Look at that one. Oh, it's got... That looks like a skull and crossbones, mm, Mark. That's big, isn't that's it? strange, isn't it? It's that old, the lot of the writing's gone off, isn't it? Well, I think it's got a tinge of red again, hasn't it? Yeah, it's all the red brick that I mentioned earlier on, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that for a tomb, Mark. Yeah, it's all breaking up, isn't it? Yeah. Robert Thompson. Look at this lot. It's massive. And a really tiny church. It's not that big, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this white one up here coming up? That'll be it, won't it? What have you found there, then? like a map of all, all of his friends where they've all oh been buried. Oh God, all his friends are buried in here as well. Well right though, that is the big white one over there. That's where Robert Burns is. Yeah, what's well, easy because someone's been rubbing them. Six, seven, eight. John Bushby, James, James Grace and Agnes Eleanor. I can't say that last Perichon. name. Wow, let's go and have a look. So I bet a lot of people don't know about Robert Burns, but all they know about is the Burns night where you go out and eat haggis and, what is it, nips and tatties? Nips. <sighs> so uh, yeah, we'll go and have a look. It were very loved in this town then, weren't it? This full graveyard's got all his family and friends this in it. coming apart here, Coming apart? It's inside it. Oh no, let's not do that. <laughs> well, it's just the headstone, isn't it? It's like a building full of stones. Oh, you can definitely tell which ones is, Mark. My goodness. And another thing we've seen about, what? In a row, about six or seven, and they're all called Robert. Because we're looking for Robert Burns, we're just looking for that name, but every single person's name, William or Robert. I've never seen a, a graveyard with so many Look big at these. stones. And it might just be tradition of the area, maybe. But At the time. We've not... Uh, we're in the little tiny things normally. I mean, these are like, you must have been so important back in the day to get something like this. Look at that one. What's this one here? They're so old, the writing's gone. Oh, I nearly fell over then. That's normally me. Sacred to the memory of, oh, I can't read it. What a shame, but how old is that? Uh -huh. Well, we found it. And look at that. For a, for a, they call it the mausoleum, don't they? Yeah. It just says the name Burns on it there, and it tells you a bit about Robert Robert Burns. There's the man himself. He died at 37, Mark. Yeah, Scotland's done Robert Burns very well, aren't they? Because they've uh, mm. proper looked after him. <laughs> So we're just around the back of town now, aren't we? Just uh, making sure we've covered everything. Yeah. To show you everything. That uh, sky is not looking good, Mark. No, no, it looks like it's going to rain, so we'll see. We just want to make sure we haven't missed nothing, because these sort of places, you, 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 you just go around the corner and you see something, you think, oh, look at that, oh, we missed that. They're like hidden looking. gems, aren't they? Yeah, so, and, and like I say, we did just come here on a whim. We didn't really make a plan, so. And we like, I like it anyway, do you? I, I love anything like this. I just love walking around new places. Green King there, Lisa. Yeah, Do you want a coffee King. or anything? Can you take dogs in? Well, you can normally at Green King, wouldn't you check, can't you? We normally do, um, as a rule. It's not in it though, Mark. Hey? It's not in it. No, 
it's that same menu you went to the other day, well expensive. Oh, it's gone expensive, hasn't it? it well, <laughs> it seems to have done. We used to go to Green Kings a lot, didn't we, at yeah. one point? Because one, they used to let you stop overnight, and two, they let dogs in. But it seems that they've gone very expensive. So. And that's on the back street or somewhere as well. Uh, so we've just been in Bernardo's. I've got nothing. Mark's got nothing. Chico got a teddy. That's your little teddy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now we will supervise him when he's got it, so don't worry about any <laughs> issues in swallowing it. Well, we nearly got him one from the garden centre the other day, didn't we? Remember we picked Squirrel. that? But there were little bits coming off it, and ours were coming off it and stuff, so I didn't get in that one. But this one, it's all sewn on, so it'll be fine with this one. Two pounds, she call that. Mm. Two pounds, look, he loves it. Mm. He loves his gingerbread man. Hey, Chico's doing really well today. So we've just been into the charity shop. That's thought was it the Dumfries and Galloway Canine Rescue Centre. So I'm going a bit back to the doggies and look what we've got him. Hey! Put his prizes in for Christmas, eh? Paws off. Got his own little Santa stocking for Christmas. Yeah, we just need to put stuff in it now, don't we? So he's got a teddy today, a stocking. Mm. Mark's feeling a bit left out, so I've got him a cake from Greg's. I've got a donut and you've got... I've got an apple turnover. So that's something nice to look forward to after tea. We've left Dumfries. We came to Stranra. 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 That's how it's pronounced, isn't it? Stranra. Oh, right. Um, and we have been without sun for so many weeks now. We've Not, been getting yeah, tiny bits, haven't we? Solar power. So we've, we've had to keep starting the van up to top our batteries up. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we decided enough's enough and we'll come here for one night. We got here last night, didn't we? Yeah, we found a campsite. We don't do normally camp don't don't normally do campsites, but I went on search for sites and the campsites in this area wanted thirty pound a night mm. with electric. Now we found this belter in Stranra and he wants twenty three pound hard standing with, with electric with everything, yeah. So well, it weren't that bad. Batteries right up. And they take some charge, you don't remember, three hundred and twenty. <laughs> amp hour of battery it takes a fair old we've charge right? yeah we've charged right. everything haven't we yeah. everything's fully charged now water's dropped toilet's changed so we're good for another oh, as long as, long we, can as we can be yeah but we're staying here for a bit longer we're going to take you around the town in a bit aren't you while it's dry yeah we're so. going to actually go into stramra today because we've never been here before uh, mm. i've heard of it it's about uh football is it mm. stramra on sea more importantly <laughs> you didn't tell them that we had a chinese last night we walked a mile to it and a mile back they were nagging because oh, we told exhausted. you in the last one about the expensive Chinese. Well, they're not that bad here. Well, this one were nice. It was nice. You said it were all right. I, think I loved um, it. Yeah. I it, ate it all anyway. Yeah, well, it <laughs> doesn't take much, does it? It was a bit cheaper here. We've left Chico in the van because it is cold, isn't it? You I'll show it you. Chico's just here. He's got his little jumper on, his Halloween jumper in November. And he's keeping warm. We've got the van on electric heating, haven't we? We've got so many forms oh, of heating in this van. We're not we using these later, have we? So. It's too hot. It's too hot in there. You could, if I go in there now, everything's got to come back off because yeah. it's just too warm. Yeah. But I'll just show you this set. This is where we stopped last night. There we are. This is only a small portion of it, isn't it? There's another bit up there. Yeah. Which is closed at this time of year. And then there's, I think, camping fields and all sorts. And how do you pronounce it? Old Donald. Old Donald campsite, yeah. Yeah. So look Impressed. on search for sites if you're on over this way. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. So it's got everything you need. I'm not going to take take for a walk around the campsite. It's got yeah. showers. It's got waste. Yeah, it's, it's got right. pot wash. Cheap enough. It's as cheap as some of the CLs now. So yeah. Yeah. You can come and stop as long as you want, can't you? People stop here for the ferry, actually, don't they? Because yeah. Great Island. So. No. So come into Stranraer with us. We're just going to drive around now and dro drop the waste. Get, uh, some water out. get some more water before we set off. Chico's not tagged in because we're still on campsite at the minute. I must say a little van came in late last night and it went during the night. I don't see the point in that. You've paid £23 for a few hours. I know it might have been going to the ferry, but you should have stayed on a road somewhere. I'm sure it would have been easier, but... It's a nice area to come and get a ferry to Ireland. It's nice and chilled out up here. So. It is. Uh, your ferry goes from... It's not, it used to go from Stranra here, but it doesn't, It goes further up now. Mm. But you come in at Belfast if you go from here. Mm. Um, I think if you go from Liverpool, you're going at Dublin. So it's always handy to know, isn't it? Everyone keeps asking when we're coming to Ireland. Might have to be something we look at. But we need some nicer weather before we come to Ireland. Yeah, we're till, missing the sun, aren't we, now? Wait till summer. Yeah. Oh, we found a free parking space. 
but look at this and it's all free we're right on Loch Ryan which comes right up to the edge of Stranra look at that what a cracking day tell you what Mark if that was in England we'd be paying for that Chico what I want you to do I want you to see if you can see any Loch Ryan monsters will you do that for me <laughs> did you see any okay thank you yeah we cannot believe this park up it's absolutely stunning i could stay here quite quite contently for some time look at that absolutely well there's no words really is there hey never mind that i went to the bank machine earlier and i've got foreign money i dream foreign money i drew some money out from morrison's look what it's given me the Scottish notes. Five there. Might as well be foreign. I've got euros. I've got to use them. Yeah, right. Well, that's nice, isn't it? That? It's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's hard to see, but it's a lock, isn't it? You see the mountains in the distance over there and everything. Isn't it? Lock Ryan. Yeah. Like I say, the ferries used to come in here, but the boats have just got so big now, the ferries, that they stopped doing it. Uh, 2011, I think it was, they stopped. Oh. Makes so it more peaceful here now, doesn't it? Now, there, yeah, you've so. got to go further up the coast now. I forgot what the town is called. I've got my silly bobble hat on because I, it keeps my head warm. I don't care what I look like. Mark hates it. <laughs> Are you ready, Cheeks? Cheek, Chico's got his Halloween jumper on and his body warmer. So, and I bet he's still, I bet he's still shaking later on. Look what Mark's doing now. Again, it takes him 10 hours to come out of the van. In and out, in and out. What you doing? Oh, he's putting his steering lock on. Apparently there's only 13,000 people live here. It's not a lot, is it, really? The town's just over the road. And like I say, this car park is completely free. Got a mixture of HGVs in here, cars. And say it's sat there. It's nice and quiet, isn't it? Yeah, well, it will be, won't it? There's no one lives here. There's 13,000 people lived here, I just said that. There's a castle here, and again, that's free to go and have a look at as say well. There's a cafe here. No, you've just been in the cafe. Mm -hmm. Talking about food again, aren't you? Look at this, over here, you go right down to the water's edge. And I've been on Google, and I've Googled charity shops, and there's three of them in this town, so I'll try and catch them before they close today. We've got to watch the day as well because it goes dark really early, doesn't it? Yeah, the sun's never really got up in the sky today. It got to about 11 and I think it's starting to go down again. Yeah. As you can see, it's just at the top of the houses at the minute. It doesn't go up in the sky. One side point, eh? It's the only thing about Scotland in winter, it goes dark really, really quick. What fetch me here for? Oh, that's yeah. oh, nice, isn't it? We could have, we've got a paddle board. It looks like a it? beach, doesn't it? little one with time mm. Ooh, can you imagine being in there be bloody baltic won't it right let's go and find some shoppies or see what uh, there is in stranra like i said there is a castle and it's also free to go in it's supposed to be quite nice as well not massive not think there's much of it left but there's quite a bit i think the tower's left the tower, the tower. Oh. wait long literally two minutes from where we've parked up is the castle in front of us very low down isn't it well i thought like i said it's too, it's, it wasn't a big castle to start off we mark it was uh, like a tower with bits built around it oh, yeah. but look at that just there i don't think it's open i'm gutted i wanted to have a look inside of it probably shut for winter like yeah. everything else in this country <laughs> And that's uh, Stranraw Town Centre. Like I said, it's not massive. There's not many people live here, but it's the second biggest, largest town in uh, Dumfries and Galloway. 
in the uh, southwest corner, isn't it? Dumfries being the biggest, which is where we were on the last vlog. So let's go and have a look. Oh, proper gutted. It shuts in October. We've just missed it, haven't we? Well, by a month, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. It's open from June till October. It's free admission, 10 till half past four, if you fancy coming in those months. But yeah, you can go. It's got about four floors in it, Mark. You can go right to the top. Fancy, isn't it? There. You can actually go on the roof as well, because it's flat. Really? I've seen people walking around on it. Mm. Oh, right, looking forward to that. Hey, up, people, Mark. You like peoples? One of these days, someone's going to stick the finger in your eye. Look, like, you dare go. It's like a glory over. So unfortunately that's all that stands left of uh, Stranraw Castle but it wasn't like a massive built up castle though we've seen before, small, it was only a small yeah. one but uh, yeah they seem to have built all the Stranraw town centre around it they built properties onto it haven't they, the yeah, and yeah. things probably in the 1800s so oh, that, uh, yeah this has all been built onto it, it looks weird do not it? Mm. But yeah, you can go up there, Mark. Yeah. I've seen people looking over it. We're having a look up, innit? You have yeah. to pay obviously again, but it's shut now. No, you it? don't. It's free. Oh, is it? That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's all free. We'll have to be staff, though, won't we? We're not in uh, England anymore. You get things for free up here. It's mm -hmm. brilliant. Well, we'll go and have a look what's happening around the town then. Mm. See what shops they have here. So, Icebound Marikala, another charity shop. I've been in two already, but there was nothing in there. I, I always get a feeling when I walk in if I'm going to get something, you know. But um, yeah, there were nothing in those two, so I'll wait for Mark to catch me up. He can hold Chico and I'll nip in here and see if we get any bargains. You don't seem to let dogs in a lot of places here. There's no dog signs everywhere, which is a shame. No, normally when you get to seaside places, they normally let your dogs in, don't they? Yeah. There's one Not behind yet. you, the last one, Mark. Can I go and have a look in it? Yeah, if you want, then you've done then, haven't you? Yeah, today? that's it. As they say, third time lucky. No, third time not lucky. I didn't get anything. Gutted. And this little one, I think you're too cold, aren't you? Do you want to go back to the van? Hey? Yeah? I'm gonna take him back because all he's done is whinge. He's yeah, can't catch him. He's not used to this cold, is he? No. Yeah. And this is severe cold. This is not. It's Doesn't just it? gone really cold. It's about six degrees. It's, it's not six degrees, not to him. It's probably like minus 40 to Chico, this. You Even with a jump around a uh, top on. You should put your tongue in, it might not get as cold. We just spied this from across the square. We've come to have a look at it, and it's um, been erected by the town council in commemoration of Queen Victoria's reign, 1897. Mm. I didn't know what that were. Is, is, is it a bird on there? Yeah. Oh, you can see it better from this bit. Yeah. I don't know, it looks a bit scary, doesn't it? All in black. Yeah. There's water in it. But it says keep dry on it, do not it? Keep, keep the pavement dry, do not it? Keep dry. Strange, isn't it? There's a castle just over there. You can't really call it a castle, can you? It's a tower. Yeah, yeah it's like a watchtower, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Let's go and have a look around here. Tea call arts leaves, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. Don't know what he thinks he's going to find in there, like. Oh. Catch protection shop, sure. Oh, well. I've given up with charity shops here now because I've not bought anything. So, I'm not happy. Now, from what I've, I've heard, Stranra has got the nickname The Toon. T O O N. Which I just mean, I, to me, that just means the town. Toon. The Toon. You've got to say it properly, Mark. Toon. <laughs> it's like tenements. No, tenements. <laughs> Chris, decoration on this shop here. It makes you want a lollipop, doesn't it? If I do well fired rolls, so. What is it? Like a grocery shop. Do you want to go and have a look in? It's still after these burnt rolls. Is that the other ones? They've all gone. Went into Morrison's this morning, didn't sell them. Really strange. But things, places like that, the little shops in Scotland seem to sell bread, like fresh rolls, so 
Let's see if we can get some. Yeah? No? No. No? I don't remember. I've not even seen a baker's. Have you seen a baker's? No. I'd have thought there'd been a lot, like, a lot of like fresh produce. We've been like the only town that's here. I don't know where you get your shopping from apart from Morrison's, but it's not the same, is it? We're looking for some independent like bakers and butchers, aren't we? We're looking for something. Oh like my that, goodness, so. what's this? Oh, derelict. Isn't it? Oh, Jesus, that's been good well, it? it has. Let's cross over. Let's just get across the road before we kill ourselves. Cracky. That used to be the George Hotel. Obviously, it's a list of building marks because we've not knocked it down. No, there's not. But the next next one's lovely, isn't it? In the Kuwait Church. Yeah, comments if you below if you know what happened to the George Hotel in Stranra. 1876, that. So the building I thought was a little white church is Stranra Museum and it's actually free to go in as well. But guess what? They knew we were coming, didn't they? It's closed. So we can't go in. You can hear plenty of seagulls here, can't you? You know it's yeah. a seaside place. Well, not seaside, it's just a harbour and port, isn't it? Lockside. Lockside, yeah, not seaside. Let's get it right. Oh, MG, I want it, Mark. Look at it moving. Can I get one? Cheat code like one, wouldn't you? Oh, he's seen it, look. Oh, what is it? He wants it, can we get one? Please. We spotted this sculpture from across the road and I wondered what it were. It looked like a, I don't know. A shrimp? To you it looked like a worm or something to me, but when you've got closer and you read about it, you realise what it is. The sculpture's called Blin Johnny and it's it's commemorative of a gentleman called Johnny who was blind, so blind Johnny. Uh, and he died at the age of 70 in 1905 in Stranra. Now the reason why they've done this for him is because he used to go around the streets of Stranra. Entertaining people, didn't he? Yeah, entertaining people. He's, they call it a squeeze box. Now what do you call them? You know the things you got. I can't. I didn't sound like that either. Um, but when you push it in and pull it, and it's got buttons on the end of it. That's why they've done it in memory to him because of the entertainment they gave to people in Stranra. I think that's quite nice, that, isn't it? Yeah. Has it got buttons on the top of it? Yeah, it has. Look. Yeah. Quite a nice little story. What are you doing? Chico, what are you doing? That leaf's bigger than you. Something else I want to show you that's really, really nice. Look at this. How do you do that when you're painting right against the wall? How do you see what you're painting? Oh, that's crazy. Isn't, isn't it? it clever? So vibrant as well. Don't mind graffiti if it's done in an art style like that. I just hate to see all this spray paint all yeah, over yeah. walls. It's horrible. We went somewhere in Europe one time and it went everywhere and it really spoiled the town. But that's really, really nice. So we've come down to the waterfront and it's so calm. You can't hear anything, can you? No, it's nice Absolutely and calm, gorgeous. Oh, no, it's nice and calm, isn't it? Now, the reason why I've brought you down here is because we saw this from the town. If you can see just out there. You've got the ferries, haven't you, which are looking like yeah. going to Ireland. And you've also got a, like a pyramid pyramid shaped mountain mm -hmm. and it's 10 miles off the mainland here and it's called Elsa Craig and I'm not sure if anyone lives on there or if you can even go and visit it but can you imagine it looks like a pyramid how sharp is it it's like a tooth it does look like it looks like a shark's tooth mm -hmm. and that's just 10 miles away from here I reckon I could swim to that yeah right I reckon I can get to water from here with a stone leaf so shall I have a go You've not a chance. A couple of big ones, huh? Yeah, 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 right. You're not throwing a cable, you know. It's this little stone. Come on, go this time. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that went over there somewhere. You want to go there? No, because I know that I can't do it. I won't say I could if I could. So Lisa's got a top tip. You're making the brew, aren't you? Yes. I'm using water 
that I boiled this morning because I boiled the kettle and we had to move so I thought what I'm going to do with this water it's a waste I put it in my super sparrow now I've just come back now what about four hours ago four and a half yeah. hours it's ago it's a flask and it keeps yeah, stuff flask. Right put it in a flask or anything like that we use our super sparrows hot cup of tea haven't I mm. so yeah it saves me getting the kettle back out and I've got fresh uh, hot water straight away. So we don't be using as much battery power because you boil two cups worth of water now and fill that up, won't you? Yep, so I'm happy as Larry. Right, so before it goes dark, we're gonna find this other park up. As you can see on my phone, well, you can see it. The yellows are where there is free parking, so we're gonna go and check those out. Apparently one's now saying no overnight parking, so the other one is just like a lay bar at the side of the road, but everyone says it's very quiet for an overnight stop. If they're going for the ferry, well both ferries have now gone, so it should be quiet, shouldn't it? Yeah, so let's go and have a look. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should 